Hello and good morning. Thank you for watching CNN News 18. I'm Shen Elizabeth Matthew. Let's begin this bulletin with the big story this hour, which is the Election Commission is going to hold press conference today at 3:30 p.m. at Vigyan Bhavan to announce the schedule of Maharashtra and Jharkhand elections. So this is the breaking input at uh, the top of 9 a.m. that we are getting to you that Election Commission is going to announce. the poll dates for maharashtra and jharkhand elections and this was a much awaited announcement that was that were everyone were in fact waiting for there were also criticism that was coming in from the opposition parties regarding the delay in announcing the election dates of maharashtra and now finally today the election commission of india is going to announce the dates for maharashtra and jharkhand assembly elections Let me go directly across to all the reporters on ground. Let me start with my colleague uh, Pallavi Ghosh. Uh, Pallavi, a uh, big day today. Uh, election Commission is going to announce the date for Maharashtra and Jharkhand. What are you picking up from your sources within the Election Commission? Are the bypolls of Vyanad, Uttar Pradesh, and Rajasthan will also be simultaneously announced today? So there are at least ten seats in Uttar Pradesh, which I think which goes in for bypolls. Vyanad also, of course, is due. Because there's a window of six months, and November is the deadline essentially, Sherin, when they do expect elections or bypolls rather to Vyanad to take place. But all eyes clearly on Jharkhand and Maharashtra. Precedence shows that it goes in for a multiple phase election. Now both the states do have security concerns, and those security concerns are always going to be factored in. Maharashtra, of course, being a large state. the second one after uttar pradesh who goes in for a multiple phase election and jharkhand is also expected to go for more than one more phase wouldn't hazard any kind of a schedule at this point of time but you're absolutely right there has been much politics which has been played out specifically as far as maharashtra is concerned on the sera when for example the the killing or the shootout at uh, baba siddiqui took place all opposition parties were up in arms saying that right now the eknath shinde government must step down there should be immediate announcement of elections and the delay has been taking place because the government wants to implement either the ladli behna yojana in maharashtra as well the prime minister has to announce uh, many programs and that's the reason why the delay takes place well what technically happens is that once the schedule is announced by today 330 by the election commission the model code of conduct comes into action and then we are going to get an idea about when those elections are going to take place and of course when the counting is going to take place in both these states as well as the bypolls the model code of conduct uh, come in place now uh, i'll ask all my reporters to please uh, wait as uh, we are getting more reactions now that the election commission is planning to announce the dates for jharkhand and maharashtra bypolls uh, i beg your pardon assembly elections so listen into the political reactions that are coming in election ke liye taiyar hai lekin kal is aaj election ka ghoshna hona hai aur iski jankari kal hi bhajpa netaon ko ho jati hai बहुत गंभीर विषय है क्या भाजपा नेताओं के इशारे पर आयोग काम करता है हेमंता विश्व शर्मा जी का एक बाइट है कल उन्होंने बोलते बोलते ये बोल दिया कि कल तो चुनाव की घोषणा हो जाएगी बड़ा अजीब लगता है इस कदर किसी आयोग को कठपुतली बना के रखना गंभीर बात सब बातचीत हो रही है सब तरह से तैयार है ये बातचीत आपके मीडिया के सामने नहीं आई होगी हमारी बातचीत के कई पहलू हैं कई माध्यम हैं हाँ एक औपचारिक बैठक होगी जो आप लोगों के द्वारा भी कवरेज लिया जाएगा Let me now uh, go across to uh, my colleague Arunima, who is reporting on this uh, particular story. Arunima, when we talk about uh, the elections in Maharashtra and Jharkhand specifically, Maharashtra tenure is going to the government tenure is going to end on November 26, whereas Jharkhand still have time. We have time till January 2025. Do you think that this is the delay that has in fact been questioned by the opposition? Uh, does have fact to the allegations that are being made because uh, it's very near. The tenure is going to end by November 26 and. And the announcement is just going to be made today. Yes, a lot of questions have been asked. In fact, uh, all the decisions that were taken by the Maharashtra, uh, you know, uh, cabinet yesterday, those are also being linked to the election date announcement. That you are giving ample time uh, to the government of the day to carry out all 
uh, the SOPs that they want to announce ahead of elections and giving them ample time uh, to, to finish uh, their, their whatever unfinished agenda is there. But that politics aside, if you speak to Election Commission of India, uh, they will tell you that they are uh, keeping in mind the festival season. Earlier, we have seen elections to Maharashtra, Jharkhand, Haryana getting clubbed together. This time, Jammu and Kashmir was also thrown into the mix. So a big concern was the security challenge. You needed much more deployment for Jammu and Kashmir. The central paramilitary forces were required there because of the law and order situation. And therefore, Maharashtra and Jharkhand were dealing uh, from Haryana and Jammu and Kashmir. Then came the challenge of the festival season. Diwali is round the corner. Post Diwali, there is Chhat. Jharkhand has a huge population of, of those people who carry out chhat with a lot of devotion. It's, it's one of the biggest festivals for Bihar and Jharkhand. There's a lot of Bihari migrant voters in Maharashtra also who would want to travel back home to celebrate the festival of chhat. So these were all concerns for the election commission as well. And they said that they kept all of this in mind. Uh, now it looks like November 26th is the deadline. So the latest that the EC can push is about a week before that. Tentatively, there's been a lot of speculation that in the third week, of uh, you know uh, November elections could happen in Maharashtra. Last time around, it happened in a single phase. So will the EC stick to a single phase elections in Maharashtra? For Jharkhand, again, security is a concern. It's a Naxal affected state. Relatively, uh, the Naxal domination in Jharkhand has gone down, but central param paramilitary forces will have to be deployed there. Last time it was about five phases. This time we'll have to see what the EC really has on its mind. All right. Now, let me go straight across to Mayuresh, uh, who is reporting from Maharashtra. Now, uh, Mayuresh, today after the announcement by the Election Commission, the MCC code will in fact come into place. Now, yesterday you were reporting about how there has been financial measures that has been taken by Mahayuti government just yesterday. They have waived off uh, uh, loans. They have come up with uh, toll exemptions as well. Uh, you know, there are criticism, of course, coming in from the opposition parties that uh, it seems the Election Commission was waiting for such announcements to be made by Mahayuti to announce the elections? Uh, absolutely. That's the biggest criticism we can say that because uh, somewhere it was expected that uh, these uh, cabinets, because this was not the uh, only cabinet, even last week we have seen that two cabinets uh, took place and the major decisions were taken uh, in those cabinets, especially the financial uh, decisions were taken in those cabinets. So uh, it was expected that uh, after they take uh, uh, this kind of cabinet or they conduct this kind of cabinet, so soon uh, the model code of conduct will come into the play. And yesterday's uh, cabinet was somewhere considered as the last cabinet because the way the toll was uh, waived off of all five toll plazas in Mumbai. So uh, it was somewhere uh, uh, expected that the uh, either tomorrow or day after tomorrow, uh, the model code of conduct will come into the place. So that's why these kind of populist majors or populist announcements or the decisions uh, the Maharashtra State Cabinet had taken in the last few cabinets. All right, let me now go across 